Hi, it's Mary Jo from eXp Realty, and I am here in Afton today. We're going to interview Barb and Mike Moorhead in their passive home in Afton. It looks like a farmhouse, it feels like a farmhouse, but it's anything but. This is a high-tech miracle. It is a passive home, basically a net zero. The energy company pays them, so come on in. When the boys were growing up and we started thinking about retirement, we decided we wanted to live outside of St. Paul. We wanted some acreage. And we finally found this property, which was 10 acres. And then we set about trying to figure out what kind of a house we wanted to build. There was uh, a newspaper article about uh, a certified passive house in North Hudson, Wisconsin called Passive House in the Woods. And that's owned by Dr. Kunkel. And he opened it up for a tour one weekend. Uh, very generous of him, and we went over and toured the house. His design builder person was there, and he was putting on seminars. So we started attending some of his seminars, and we met our future architect, Nancy Schultz, at one of the seminars. Well, we eventually found out about the, um, the annual energy conference hosted in Duluth, Minnesota, which we always call the Duluth Energy Conference. It's been going on for over 30 years, and they bring in building science experts your building is a science now. It's not, not so much craft as it is a science. It deals with physics and all kinds Moisture. of other things. And yeah. they figured out how to build energy efficient houses that last. I've always wanted somebody to do an energy efficient home. I had lots of ideas for lots of years on how to accomplish it and Mike and Barb were just the first people that came along that were passionate enough to do it. I, I, I talked about a concrete house and I showed them these pictures like this which were houses in hurricanes and the only houses left standing on these long stretches of beach were ICF. ICF homes. And you know once I showed them this and, and we all agreed that we were going to build a concrete home. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find anybody, that, I don't know of anybody else really that's building all concrete homes. Mike and Barb and I spent a lot of time going through researching internet stuff, um, heat systems. Because the house is so energy efficient, it's hard to find products made in America that actually could be used in this house. The heat pump is basically a German design. It's Chiltrex, but the Chiltrex is an American company that has taken parts from Germany, parts from China, and they kind of have picked the best pumps, the best air source heat pumps, and have designed their own system. When, when we had um, below zero weather this past few weeks, when it was 20 below for a whole week, we, it did kick in, the heat pump kicked in. And we had 68 degrees in here, and it was you know, 20 below outside all day. We have air conditioning. The heat pump is a reversible, so it's like a refrigeration at that point, and they're right here. Yeah, um, on the walls, and so we just flip it over to air conditioning. Our non-winter gas bills are less than a dollar a day in the summertime. For usually, it's yeah, thirty dollars, thirty, thirty-two like dollars a month, and there's fees. There's most of it's fees. Yeah. Most of it's hooker fee. The solar panels produce enough surplus electricity that. Um, we make enough money that we can we can pay our gas bills. So this is really a, a true net zero, not only a net zero house, but we have enough energy left over to pay for the utilities for the barn. So we refer it as to a net zero property. We might even be a shade into the net positive, meaning we, we produce a little more energy than we actually we will ever use. National Association of Home Builders have done some recent surveys and they say people are willing to spend a little more money to, to gain energy efficiency. I would say this house, for a variety of reasons, costs us anywhere from 15 to 20 percent more than a similar code built house. Part of it was we had custom cabinets and we had really nice doors instead of plastic doors or hollow core doors and things. So, so some of it was upgrades. I would think the energy efficiency upgrades probably cost us 12% more than a standard house, and the rest of it was just 
different things we wanted. But um, with this whole discussion about um, climate change and everything else, you have to ask yourself where you're going to be 20 years from now, 30 years from now. If you're just going to buy a house or build a house that you're going to live in for five years, that's one thing. But if you want a house that you're going to live in for a long time, um, the price of gas, the price of electric is all very volatile, volatile as, as we've seen from the recent storms in Texas. Huge increases in electrical prices and gas prices. Um, I don't worry about it. 